this form and we put it in the cage roller cage roller is where you know we take the impurities the impurities is like you know it's since the cotton is naturally naturally grown so it has you know good cotton and immature cotton as well the immature cotton just drops down on the cage roller so we just get the cream of the cotton we put it in the ginning machine ginning machine is is the process where we separate the cotton and the seed so the cotton is has a seed so we separate the cotton and the seed the final product after ginning is called lint this is what we get as a lint and this is a seed so seed goes for you know cattle feed and oil this lint is again compressed into bales and this we sell it to or send it to a spinning spinning mill where from the from the lint they you i mean they reduce the thing stretch and pull and stretch and make it as a yarn so this is how the yarn is made of course i mean there are a lot of process in a spinning machine and spinning mills so where i mean the bulk cotton is made into desired yarn of you know whatever count you want to so this is a small little brief of shantalakshmi thank you after an average 5 months duration of cultivation time the raw cotton is arrived in bundles like this it gets sorted out based on forming fields and then gets stored here for a period of time the stored cotton is then removed from these bundles and then allowed to relax for a day's time before it goes on to further process As the video continues don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified In the process of ginning first step is where the cotton is put into a cage then gets rolled This is called rattling Doing so makes the immature cotton to pass through the small holes in the cage roller and drop out from the roller Then from there the cotton is stacked like a module and then stored for further process As cotton is a natural fiber while processing it there will be a lot of micro dust getting accumulated in the work area A little amount of water is been sprinkled over the cotton to control this Then the cotton fluff is transferred through these shoots to another location for further process. These pneumatic driven shoots are sped across the mill to transport the cotton fluff. Then the cotton fluff is fed into this steady flow machine. This steady flow machine separates the cotton into two equal portions and sends it on a conveyor belt to a series of ginning machines which is spread across into two processing lines. The cotton fluff with seed is dropped onto a ginning machine. The ginning machine has a series of blades and rollers installed within a particular layout. which does the job by separating cotton from the seed once the cotton fluff is passed through this is the cotton with the seed and this is the cotton lint separated from the seed out from a ginning machine once the seed is separated from cotton it gets transferred through a network of pipes to a different location where it gets stored and sent for cattle feed oil pressing or the normal natural demands After ginning the cotton lint is sent to a different location for making it into bales. 
your subscription to the channel motivates me to make more videos so don't forget to hit the subscribe button being a natural fiber cotton needs to be maintained with a certain moisture for which water is sprayed onto the lint stack throughout the process then the lint is put into a box for transferring into a bale pressing machine now this process of putting the lint into a box helps to maintain the weight of a cotton bale within a range of 170 to 175 kilograms there is a compression box of 16 feet deep installed underground where this cotton lint is getting filled and then compressed into a bale This is how the cotton lint looks like a bale once it gets compressed. Then further, the cotton bale is transferred to another machine for packing it. Where the tacks are put for packing, then the top and bottom ends of the bale are covered. The bales are then labeled with their corresponding lot numbers and stored here before they are sent to the spinning mill. Hope you found this useful. We'll continue the story of cotton in next episode. Please subscribe for more. Cheers.